That's, that's difficult to drive. So I have to hold the camera and drive in here. Hey guys, hello and welcome back to another video here in Binhua City. Today I want to show you two pieces of work that's been done here in Binhua City. And these pieces of works, they are related to Alexander Gustavo Eiffel, the man itself, you know. I'm going to show you two bridges, which is Go Ratgat and Go Gen. And these two bridges were built by the company that is associated with Alexander Gustavo Eiffel. So who is this guy? So Alexander Gustavo Eiffel is a French civil engineer that was born in 1832 and died in 19. 23 at the age of 91. Probably most famous work of his are Eiffel Tower, which was named by his name. And I think it's got a good viaduct, which are in France. And then the Liberty statue, which is in America. Okay, so first we're gonna see Ko Ratkat. So Ko Ratkat is the bridge that was built in 1903 and it's 128 meters long. It only has one line for the motorbikes, as you can see. You can only cross that way, you can only go to Hebois. So now I am at Quet Tam, yeah, Quet Tam uh, Ward. And as you can see, this bridge in here, it has a rail track, so it's only for the trains in here and one way for the motorbikes. It has another lane for the motorbikes on the other side, but it's not in use. It hasn't been, it haven't been used for many years. So this bridge is quite difficult to cross it actually, but I'm gonna try to do it. Okay, so I don't want to get on anyone, anyone's way. Okay, so let's do it. I'm gonna have to drive slowly. Oh. Okay. Wow. That's, that's difficult to drive. So I have to hold the camera and drive in here. Wow, look at this. Look at this piece of art in here. Okay, so I see the motorbikes. They're coming from behind me. So I have to move it. But we can stop on the other side and Whoa. Okay, so I will stop in here. Okay, so the company, the company that's associated with Alexander Gustavo Eiffel called Societe de la Valois de Perret of Paris. Gustavo Eiffel had his own company in, in under his name and in 1893 he withdrew from the board directors and then the company changed the name which was Societe de la Valois de Perret and 10 years later they, they built this bridge because if you know in, in 1880s the French they came to Vietnam and they colonized it. They came to Vietnam to obviously to civilize the country, but probably the main reason was to, to, to make a profit. Obviously they did many, many good things, you know, like introducing the food and houses, they built roads and bridges and other buildings. But the main idea for them was to make profit. So the most profitable items were the rice and the rubber. Okay, so I can see there's one guy in here who's gonna try to cross this bridge, but it's only one-way system. If someone is gonna come from the other side, he will be stuck. Okay, so I just told him that there's another bridge and he has to take the other bridge. <laughs> okay, so now let's go to the next bridge, which is Kogen. And that's an interesting bridge as well. So the next bridge, uh, Kogen, 
It's really famous as well. It was built six years later in 1909. And this bridge is 223 meters long, I guess. But this bridge has two-way system. The trains can also go over this bridge. Well, that was the main idea because they build these bridges for the trains so they can pass through the river and connect to other cities. And this bridge is connecting Hebho Ward with Bulam Ward. So Hebho, Hebho Ward, we can say technically it is the island, you know, because it's surrounded by the rivers and the only access to Hebhua is to use the bridges, which I cross one now, and then the other one, the other bridge, is right there. This railway is serving as a national railway to connect south and the north, and this bridge and the railway is kind of a icon of Dongnai province, you know? because it's been built so many years ago and it's still there. So the other interesting thing about this bridge, in 2016, in 2016, this bridge was demolished by 800 ton barge that was carrying sand. Look at this piece of art in there, guys. Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, and it was demolished. And then obviously they had to, the Vietnamese government, they had to repair it. And actually they did a really good job and they finished their repairs 15 days earlier than planned, but it cost about $13 million to complete it. You know, it's a lot of money. And as I was reading some articles that the people who was driving the barge one of them did not have a captain's license, so he was not a competent person to drive it, you know. I'm not quite remember which one drove at that time, but the idea is that it caused a massive disruption on the railway, railway traffic and also for the river traffic, like the boats couldn't go past, you know. But anyway, now it's built and restored cost a lot of money okay cost a lot of money and is good to use again yeah so these two bridges guys they they are some okay they are something unreal you know so i think like french you know not many people probably talk or remember but french they Yes, they did came to Vietnam, they colonized it, they wanted lands, they took the lands, they was making profit by exporting rubber and rice, you know, they wanted money. But what happened, they, they brought something good to Vietnam and now Vietnam is more civilized. It's not only Vietnam, so France, French, they went to, came to Vietnam, I think it was Laos, and that was Cambodia as well, but they were con concentrating more on Vietnam. And actually, when French was there, Vietnamese people wasn't allowed to say that this country is Vietnam at that time. But I think I'll go more into the details if you want to hear it in some later videos when I find some more interesting places that was built maybe by French, you know. Right guys, so what, what I did not say, so when you go past the Koh Rat Kat, you cannot go back to where you came from using the same bridge. So what you have to do, so that was the bridge in there. Okay, so you drive forward and then you have to turn left and go this way. Maybe let's drive there and then you can use the other bridge to cross the river which they have another bigger bridge but that bridge wasn't built that many years ago yeah so as you can see that we've got the railway tracks on my left and let's see if we can find that other bridge so we can cross the river again Okay guys, so that's it. Yeah, I came to this traffic light and if I turn left, I would go to 
the other bridge, so I need to wait for the green light and we can go, go past the bridge. It's quite a big bridge, I will show in a minute. Okay, so we got a green light. Actually, this bridge is called Koheb Hoa. It's named under this community name. It's quite wide, you see, we've got two lanes, big cars can go on this bridge. It's a metal structure. It's kind of a roof in there. Wow, it's huge as well. And then that's the, if you can see, the other bridge. So you can choose which bridge you want to cross. You can cross this bridge, which is much easier. Or you can use the Ratkat, Ko Ratkat bridge, which is more interesting because you have to pay attention how you drive it, you know. Right guys, let's see if I can cross it with no drama. Okay, so I just crossed the traffic light and if you look there, I'm closing to the road. Oh, okay, that's a railway. That's a rail tracks in here. And then if I turn, if I turn left here again, if I turn left here again, this road will take me to that bridge that I just crossed, you know? Not just, that I crossed earlier. Okay, so that, this is how you cross these bridges. So I think, guys, that's about it, about this video. I wanted to show you these two bridges. Hope you learned something from this video and like it subscribe it smash that share button and i'll see you in the next video guys goodbye